The one thing I like the most about filmmaking is that you don't have to spend a fortune to get amazing results. Here are 10 easy camera hacks everyone can use. The point of view shot. This shot is perfect to show your audience what you're doing. They can see the world from your eyes. Instead of buying expensive headbands and GoPros, here's my solution. Just take your phone, use one of these phone holders, click record and place it in your mouth. The bottom up shot. Shooting from down up opens a new world of possibilities. Try placing your camera inside of things. You can also use glass to achieve shots like this. Just try to be creative with it. If you want to try this shot, I recommend using a waterproof camera like an iPhone. Not your expensive mirrorless camera. <laughs> the DZ shot. Ever wondered how they achieve shots like this in movies? Well, to be honest, I don't know what they use, but here is my simple solution. Take your tripod, place it on your body like this and use something to keep it in place. I'm using a belt. In your camera, lower your shutter speed and click record. The top down shot, one of the best shots you can master. It always looks interesting and it's perfect to showcase a space or what you're doing effectively. Before I got my C stand, I had to be creative. I used a cheap mic stand with a tripod head or a phone holder. I clamped my camera or my phone to doors and shelves or simply taped my phone to the ceiling. The reverse point of view. This is basically the opposite of our first shot, hence my naming decision. I like to imagine that the audience is watching me. Just try to put your camera in unusual places to help you showcase what you're doing. Small lights. I've always loved small LED lights. They are just so versatile and just perfect to add interesting lighting to your scene. Here I got new basketball shoes. Here I'm motivating the light behind of me. And also, this isn't actually the light coming from my laptop. Following the object. I've always loved shots like this. And prior to this video, I had never actually tried them. Here's how I did it. Another version of the shot would be this. This is my little cute assistant. Starting to clean. The day for night. I often get asked how my footage has so little noise when shooting low light scenes. Well, I use a method I got from Hollywood, the day for night. You need to flood your image with light and then bring it down in post. This shot you see here actually look like this. Smooth movements. There's a lot of expensive gear you can buy to get smooth movements in your shots. From electronic sliders to gimbals. But yeah, I think we can do a more budget friendly approach. Put some paper under your tripod and attach something you can pull on. If you have a sit stand desk, you can use it for smooth up and down shots. If you want to get crazy with it, put a tripod head on a drill and spin that sucker. <laughs> the product shot hack. You can use the screens you have at home as backdrops for your videos. Here is my Sony CVE-10 on our crazy DIY spinner. I'm using the TV as a backdrop and you can tell me this doesn't look great. 